What up, gang? Matt here, country song teacher. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this video is going to be a little bit different than all my other videos. Now, if you guys have been watching me, you know usually I'm going to hear a song and just come grab the guitar and go, Hey, guys. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. I'm going to teach you about four chords. Next day, I'm going to come back on here and be like, Oh, okay, I heard a song. Then you roll in with your hair in the wind, baby, with the Luke Combs, Luke, um, Luke Bryan, Jason Aldean, whatever. But this video, I just want you to stop. If you need to stop the video, go get you a hot coffee, hot tea, maybe a lemonade. It's going to be a little bit slower, but I'm telling you, it can change your life. If you're like me, you know absolutely nothing about lead guitar. I always say if lead guitar skills were dynamite, I wouldn't have enough to blow my nose. If lead guitar skills were, were money, I wouldn't have enough to pay attention if, okay, back. Anyway, back to the video. So I'm gonna show you a few little tricks that I've learned that can take someone that knows nothing about playing any kind of skills, nothing about playing up and down the neck, and you can kind of integrate maybe into some of your playing and look like you kind of know what you're talking about. So you ready, let's begin. Okay, first of all, we're gonna use three chords for this video. We're gonna use a G chord. So if you're not familiar with the G chord, lock in the two bottom strings in fifth and sixth. That's gonna be right there, your G. I'm also gonna use a D chord. You can keep those bottom two locked and press the third string. It's gonna be your D chord. Or you can play a regular D, which is third and bottom, and then your ring finger on third, on the second string. Strum with bottom four. And then an A chord, you can do it a couple different ways. If you wanna do it an easy way, like an A5, take your middle finger and ring finger, play the two middle strings, play the bottom five, or you can do your first finger on the third string and go above and below it. That's the actual A chord. So three chords you need to know for this video. G, D, A. Oh no, he did. Okay, now this is a six solo, a six string solo technique. So, I'm gonna first show you a kind of a big picture then kind of break it down, slow down. So, like I said, everybody knows I drink Celsius energy drinks. I might need a lot of energy before I finish this video. Because again, this is not my style. Okay, now the six string technique is gonna be starting with the fifth string. You're gonna play, right, let's say the third fret, then skip a fret and fifth fret, then down a string to fourth, then third, fifth, down string to the third string. So that's the six strings you're gonna play. So right there I was playing the third fret and the fifth fret. Three, five, three, five, three, five. That's the six notes. And that time I played it on the third and fifth fret. You can also play it on the fifth and seventh fret. So five, Seven, five, seven, five, seven. And remember on all of these, I'm gonna go over this later, why, why I do it like this. You're, you're starting out with the fifth string, then going to the fourth, then going to the third. So, and when I say strings, six, five, four, three, two, one. So the bottom string is the first string, the top string is the sixth. So first we did the third and fifth. Then we did the fifth and seventh. Now notice I'm using my, and this is good to work on later on down the road too, I'm using my first finger and my ring finger. So it's. So again, first, third and fifth, fifth and seventh. The last one we're gonna do is the 10th and 12th. So 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, again, on the fifth, fourth, and third string. So that's your six notes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Now, the next thing you need to do, and also, if, if, as far as like, if you're looking down your guitar, you have a dot on the third, dot on the fifth, a dot on the seventh, dot on the ninth, and two dots on the twelfth. So that'll help you kind of quickly reference. Say, take that first finger of the tenth fret, you find that twelve and go over. Okay. Now you say, now which which of those scales do you play with which? The way you do that, I'm going to show you something that, again, this is a little more music theory than I usually like to do, but it's important to know. If you, if you see a piano, you see something like this. So right here shows 13 notes 
let's take out the C and just say 12 original notes. This is important to know. So the main chords are C, D, E, F, G, A, B. There's your seven main. Each time you go to the next key, that's a, a sharp. So C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, there is no E sharp, so F. So each time, you, each one you go is called a half a step in music. Again, this is music theory stuff. It's kind of important to know. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, then F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, or, and then B. If you go this way, and this is again more music theory stuff that you don't necessarily need, but it's, it's kind of helpful to know. If you're going this way, it'd be B, B flat, and so forth. So you can call it A sharp or a B flat. That, that note right there would be the same thing, B flat or A sharp. Now the reason I say that is the reason you need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12 notes. Did you know that on a guitar it's the same way? Now again, when I first started playing, I didn't understand this. So the top string is called an E string. Each time you go up a fret, you're going up a half a step. So E, that would be an F. Because remember, there is no E sharp. So F, then next one, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, there's no B sharp, so C, C sharp, and so forth. You see what I mean? So, and then E, this is the A string. So it'd be A sharp, B, B sharp, C, C, you see what I mean? Uh, so you're going right there. So, so each time you go up a fret, it's a half a step. Why do I tell you that? So now let's go back to this whole six scale note thing. That's your G chord. You find the G note on the top string, which would be, okay, so here's an E, F, F sharp, G, okay? So the third fret is a G. If you go down a string, that little six note thing goes with the G. So this little... See what I'm doing there? So anytime you, if you want to like do a scale or something while somebody's over there, they're playing a G. And this is what's cool too, is you can do the whole one, two, three, four, five, six, but you can switch up the order. You can just, so as long, you can go any order back and forth and just kind of mess around with it. That's where you can get more freestyle, more soloing. Again, I never knew this stuff. still struggle with this is don't worry about going so fast I still my lack of patience I have to go real fast but just so right there I'm just going from four back to three. One, two, three, four, three. One, two, three, four, three. so anytime with a G this right here is the G that one three one three one three of the fifth fourth and three. that's with the G okay so Let's talk about the D chord. Again, go to that top string at E. F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. Remember, there's no B sharp, so C, C sharp, D. So on this 10th fret is your D string. Go down to the fifth, and that's where your scale is. Remember that six string still? there. So you can go. You see, I think this is a really cool one to do because, again, it makes you always say it looks a little cooler when you're playing up and down the neck. I'm always up in these three frets right here, maybe four, but if you can ever... So forth. So again, I tell you, you see me doing the one, two, three, four, back to three. You can do. So you can do any order, and just as long as you're in those one, two, three, four, five, six, in those six of these two frets, and then the last one I'm gonna go over is your A. If 
Find that top, find that A on the top string. So remember E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. It'd be that fifth fret, so you go down to the fifth string. Right there. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now again, guys, I really struggle with this. And one of the reasons I always say I try to teach something so I can even I advance myself. So I'm gonna start trying to learn a little more solo guitar, a little more kind of lead stuff so I can teach you guys. And the better I, I get at it, the better you guys get it, and so forth, we'll work on it together. So, what you wanna do with the, with the A chord, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven. That's the six notes. See what I mean? So, for the six notes, you're going skipping a fret on the fifth, fourth, and third string. What I want you guys to work on is just try maybe you can record yourself. Kind of getting a G. And then you can just you just play with that. Play around between that fifth and third, third and fifth fret. On your A chord, you can play around between the fifth and seventh. On your D, you can play around between the tenth and twelfth. All right, guys, I'll try to start doing more lessons like this. Like I said, I'm more of the guy just baby you a song that makes me want to roll my windows down. Ooh. I got a contest giveaway, guys. I use my acoustic selection pick um, in this guitar in this video. Uh, anytime I'm playing any kind of actual individual strings, I like a little harder pick. Uh, it makes it kind of pluck the strings better. With strumming, I like a little bit softer, bendier pick. But uh, so I'm gonna do a contest giveaway. Comment below. Do you want to see more videos like this or more song tutorials? Um, get creative with your comments. Maybe even leave a comment of some video, a name of somebody that's taught you a lot about scales. If there's somebody online that you say, this guy or girl has really taught me a lot about scales and playing up and down the neck, list them below. That'll help me out. And you have a chance to win. I'm going to pick uh, somebody at random. I'm going to do three contest winners. Uh, so get creative with your comments, and I'll give you acoustic selection and a um, country song teacher pick. So we'll, we'll keep it going. And also, uh, make sure you guys learn this. This is really important. Know the 12 notes, C, C-sharp, D, D-sharp, E, F, F-sharp, G, G-sharp, A, A-sharp, B. Learn those 12 notes. That's really important and to know. So if you go anywhere on the guitar, you can know what that is. So I can see now I'm at 13 and a half minutes. That's about 13 minutes longer than I usually do. But let me know if you like these kind of videos. And like I said, I'll keep on trying to help you out and help myself out. We'll just all improve together. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. And God bless you. Holla.